So we got to talk. Oh my goodness. So before I even begin the video, let me just say this. If you are a black woman and you are single and you don't want to be single anymore, all you have to do is implement what's in Destiny's Child cater to you. In that song, if you do what's in that song, all of your like 99.9% .9 of your man problems, gone, done, finito, okay? Just like that. Now, there are usually two types of women. Those are like, okay, let me go listen to Destiny's Child cater to you and see what she's talking about. And then there are those cater to you. What do you mean cater to you? You need to be catering to me. And that is why you're single. Oh. Now that we've gotten that all the way, let's talk about the video. Now in this video, this video has gone viral and it's this uh, black guy who's talking about, hey, I have a lot of D1 athlete friends and this is the reasons they told me um, why they get with white women as opposed to black women. I'm gonna play the video and then we're gonna discuss afterwards. Why are all these black college athletes that are getting drafted having white women? What's going on? I am going to tell you, as someone that is friends with a lot of D1 football players and D1 basketball players, I'm going to tell you because they have told me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before I get into this, I wanna make it clear I'm only into black women. I'm just telling you what they have told me. My man said, bro, how many white women have you seen do the Meg Thee Stallion challenge? And he said, excluding the ones that think they're two shades away from being lied up. I said, probably only one. He said, okay. Yo, five of my guys that play on division one power five football teams and they start, they were like, goody, you know the type of NIL deals we got. One of my men said, bro, I was messing with this black girl. She heard about the deal I got and started to request money, Apple Pays and Cash Apps for her hair and nails. I said, oh, shit. My other friends were saying, bro, I would try to take her out to Chipotle, Cava, this and this and that. She would get mad talking about why are we going to steakhouses? You're good for it. I said, oh, shit. they were like, bro, the white women, they're down to go and get a cup of coffee, go, go and get some ice cream. My friends were like, bro, the white women we're dating? They pay for a lot of our stuff. I said, what do you mean? They said, bro, they know that we're making some money. But while we're at practice or we're at camp, they got us our favorite cava bowl, double chicken, right? Waiting for them to come out of practice. My friends are telling me these girls are getting their group projects done, getting their essays done, online tests done, on time. I said, wait, what? I said, bro, what about maintenance? There's no way y'all are not paying for her hair, nails, bags, her lifestyle. He said, bro, first of all, my girl will get her own Starbucks and even get me one. But if I want to be nice, I'll get her something, you know, from Starbucks. And they were like, hair and nails. They don't even care about the nails, really. You know, and if they do it, they do it themselves. Sometimes I, you know, I pitch in and I was like, all right, what about hair? They're like, bro, she's white. She just brushes it. We're flat arms. She wants to be special. So Jesus Christ, you guys are saving a lot of money. <laughs> One of my men said this. He just got drafted. He said, bro, I was dating a black girl. Now I'm dating a white girl. And I'm about to marry her. He said, the difference between the black girl and the white girl, the biggest difference is the white girl knows when to shut the fuck up. I said, God damn. Now in the video, uh, whew, lot to unpack, lot to unpack. Um, let me just say, first things first, a lot of the things that he talks about in the video are cultural problems. And given the fact that the culture that is promoted to black Americans is not our culture. This isn't our culture. This is a commercialization of our culture. It's a bastardization. That's why I call it. And the people who have bastardized our culture, they don't care about the black family. They don't care about the youth. They don't care about the detriment to the collective. They don't care if it's absolutely destroying us. They don't care at all. All they care about is making their dollar, making their money. What has happened is that this culture has been, you know, synonymous with us. All the degeneracy that they have passed, that they have profited from, is now being, you know, labeled as us, as who we are, and this is what we do. And I think that's disgusting. When he talks about role models, he says, hey, you know, my chick listens to Taylor Swift, you know, your chick listens to Megan Thee Stallion. I get what he's saying, but at the same time, let me just say this, I would argue that the Taylor Swift, I don't know Taylor Swift's music, but I'm assuming that it's some type of romanticism and you know, talking about breakups and stuff like that. That type of music can be just as harmful in a relationship as the Megan the Stallion. Because there are many of women out there who have this Disney theory, okay? And the Disney theory is, hey, this is how the relationship's supposed to go. This is how she's supposed to treat me. This is how I'm supposed to, you know, act. And they have this, this vision of, of what it's supposed to be like. And it's 99.9% .9 .9 often uh, not correlated to reality. He's out of line, but he's right. That can be harmful because there's a lot of presumptions going on that do not reflect reality. Just as when it comes to Megan Thee Stallion, you know, um, that type of music, whatnot, women emulating that 
can be harmful as well because to a man who's looking for a wife or a high value man, um, that's not behavior that he's looking to get, you know, attached to, especially in the long run, uh, long run, and especially as, you know, looking for wifey. So that they're both alienating to an extent. I think one is a little more visual with Megan Thee Stallion, and one is a little more, you know, after the fact. It was like, oh, this chick is crazy. She has a completely different <laughs> understanding of how relationships work. But nevertheless, moving on to the next point that he was making about, hey, she found out that I you know, got, got on a team and now she's talking about, hey, you need a cash at me for nails and hair. Um, why are we eating at you know, Starbucks or whatever? We should be going to the you know, steakhouse. Um, you good for it? That is unfortunately what I would call, I would say that's a stemming from the culture. It's a culture that's not ours that has really harmed uh, a lot of women and a lot of men, unfortunately, because they are no longer being taught how to, how to serve a man, how to be with a man. They are being taught how to be with the nonsense, with the drivel. And that is often, in, often you know, many cases, what they get with. And it screws both people over. Because those uh, you know, men out there who are looking for a good woman, well, it becomes a problem when they can't find it in their own community. Now, having said that, I'm not saying that good black women don't exist. No one's saying that. However, anyone who knows anything about anything knows that they are a very, very, very rare commodity. And what I mean by that is not necessarily that they don't exist, but their accessibility. Meaning that when you find one, she usually already has a ring on it, okay? Or B, she's already in a relationship. Because I don't know about you, but if you find a good woman, <laughs> It, you're automatically going to cuff it. You're going to clank, clank. You're going to try and lock it down. You're not going to let her get out of your life. That's not going to happen. And if you do, you're going to do everything in your power to try and get her back because you understand what you lost. And that's usually the predicament of these women, of these high, high value women out there is that they're usually already have a ring on it because a monk foe doesn't want to lose it or be there already. Somebody's already pursuing it heavy. It is what it is, but that's how it works. It's price and demand, S simple as that. And everyone, everyone, I don't care if you black, white, Hispanic, Asian, it doesn't matter. Unless she has some loyalty to black men, everyone is gonna be on it, everyone. When it comes to nail and hair, you should already be taking care of that before you meet me. However, if you, you know, don't have it or you want me to do it, absolutely, because I want you to look good because you are a reflection of me. So your hair and nails looking dingy, is a poor reflection of me. I like to look good, so you have to have that done. And you know, if I think it's you know unacceptable, I'm like, nah, you need to go right now. Boom, I will absolutely pay for it. That's not a problem at all. But there's a different mindset of now I expect you to do it since you are with me versus, oh, that's a nice thing for you to do. I was gonna do it myself, but I appreciate you paying for it. It's a different mindset. One is a mindset of, of, of entitlement Another mindset is of, oh, that's, that's a generous offer. I appreciate that. He then goes on to talk about how, you know, how she pays for stuff uh, for him. And I, I think that goes back to the previous point of how to be with a man, that there's a give and get, right? There's a push and pull that, you know, being able to cater to someone who is going to provide you, you know, a lifestyle of the traditional woman or is going to provide you a lifestyle that, that is, you know, better than what you're accustomed to. I think there is that, that cater mentality, which is why I say, hey, Destiny's Child, cater to you, listen to the song. You won't be single if you listen to that song and implement what's in that song. He ends it with saying they know when to keep quiet. And that goes back to, hey, peace of mind. Majority of good men just want peace of mind. That's really it, they want peace of mind. And the moment in time, you don't give them that peace of mind, guess what? They're gonna look for it elsewhere. And that's what's gonna happen. Because they know that's an experience, and many men know, that's something that they're already accustomed to. So when you say, hey, the wheels on the car are extra, bruh, there, there, there are cars out there that come with the wheels. Why would I go out of my way to deal with your foolishness, talking about the wheels on the car are extra, or I am the table, when that, that mindset is not present elsewhere. And that's what many men, fortunately, I mean, fortunate for them, but unfortunate for you, uh, you or the women out there who are single, um, that's what they do. All things aside, one book that I heavily recommend is Shahrazad Ali's book, okay? 
the, the Black Man's Guide to Understanding the Black Woman. I think this is the book to help you. This is, this is a prerequisite for the VET program, okay? I think this will help uh, uh, black men, black women. I think this will help all people, okay? Whether you're black or white, this is something you should be looking forward in, in a woman. And unfortunately, I think a lot of these women don't even pass, I say, what, maybe four of them? Uh, much less all 23. I mean, one, for example, she enjoys going home, going partying, but has an equally good time at home. Three, she will have a strong spiritual commitment that helps her distinguish between right and wrong. Four, she will be partially modest in her style of dress. Five, she will like babies and children and include them in her life. Six, she enjoys cooking and preparing special meals or treats for the black man. Seven, she will respect her parents, his parents, and older people. Eight, she has good personal hygiene. Nine, she does not wear a ton of makeup, and it goes on. I think out of those 10, that is a good chunk of you women who are disqualified. Good chunk of you women who are disqualified. And men, if you are looking for a good woman, I would highly suggest you get this book and go through the list. And the moment in time she doesn't uh, 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 follow the list, be done with her. See if she will concede to the list, be like, hey, listen, you, you don't cook for me. Or hey, listen, you put a lot, on a lot of makeup. Or hey, listen, that's too you know, scantily clad you know, uh, for us going to this party. You need to change what you're wearing. And if she abides by it, by all means. But if she doesn't, move on, move on. Because all of that is gonna be trouble in the long run. When he talks about these things in the video, I think, hey, a hit dog hollers. It's as simple as that. Because there are plenty of black women out there who don't do what, what's in the video that he claims. That they very much know how to cater to a man. They very much know how to treat a man. And that's why they usually have rings or they got good men alongside them. Just is what it is. So I think the women who are complaining are the ones who are single for a reason. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not you believe, Louis, 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 um, I don't know, what, what could you think? What do you think that, what, they're just, black women are just doomed? Or do you think that, hmm, there are, there are some out there. They're hard to get, as with anything of value, it's hard to get, um, but they, they, they do exist. Uh, nevertheless, if you happen to disagree with the video, more than welcome to call in during disagreement days, typically Friday through Sunday, there'll be a number on our screen. You call in, we do get out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure to get, get your copy. Men, women, women, see if you follow what she say, and men, see if you have a woman who does what she says. Uh, and all oh, that fun stuff. Till next time, guys, be amazing. Somebody's already pursuing it, heavy.